12 2022 is angel time winter is here stay woke y'all world war three is about to begin Zelensky just came to the daughter of babylon to bring us into destruction Zelensky had to visit america to bring us into war we see they made him hold up the egyptian pyramid of the illuminati freemason america will fall for the trap Jeremiah 50 24 says I set a trap for you Babylon and you are caught before you knew it you are found and captured because you oppose the Lord the Lord has opened his arsenal and brought out the weapons of his wrath for the sovereign Lord Almighty has work to do in the land of the Babylonians come up against her from the utmost border open her storehouses cast her up as heaps and destroy her utterly let nothing be left listen to the voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of babylon to declare in zion the vengeance of the lord our god the vengeance of his temple call together the archers against babylon all you who bend the bow a camp against it all around let none of them escape repay her according to her work according to all she has done do to her for she has been proud against the lord against the holy one of israel therefore her young men will fall in the streets all her soldiers will be silenced in that day declares the lord See, I am against you, you arrogant one, declares the Lord, the Lord Almighty, for your day has come, the time for you to be punished, and the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none shall raise him up, and I will kindle a fire in his cities, and it shall devour all around him. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast, they refused to let them go. Their redeemer is strong, the Lord of hosts is his name, he shall thoroughly plead their cause that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of babylon a sword against the babylonians declares the lord against those who live in babylon and against her officials and wise men and that sword is the nuclear strike america is the most proud nation on earth and she will stumble and fall because her goofy ass went to go bear hunting in the dark cold north of the russian frozen tundra and out of the north the bear lay waste to babylon all because babylon oppressed the children of judah and the children of Israel. America committed the same crime that the Egyptians committed. It's angel time. The angels are bringing war. The angels is bringing a winter storm to cover America with record-breaking temperatures today on 12-22-2022 after the winter solstice as we head to the most pagan satanic holiday of the year, Christmas. Now America is being covered from coast to coast with a winter storm. The Messiah said, pray that our flight be not in the winter or on the Sabbath. Russia, China, North Korea, Iran, and others, they will surprise the world as the great colonizer of the earth, America and Britain, when they try to colonize Russia. When the greatest invaders in the history of the earth, British and America, when they try to invade Mother Russia, the bear will rise from the north, and America will no longer exist as a nation. Oh, Lucifer, how have you fallen? America is the modern day Lucifer. Lucifer is a light bearing spirit, the Illuminati, that that jumps from empire to empire. Today, America is holding the torch of Lucifer that serves Satan. That same gen, that same spirit that was around during Babylon, he was around for Egypt, he was around for Rome, and he was around for the British Empire, and now he is around for America's empire. Babylon the Great has fallen, has fallen. And after Babylon falls, the satanic Luciferian Antichrist spirit will manifest himself into a man. And this is why they are using the CERN portal to release the devil. CERN is the location of the throne of Satan. Revelations 2.13 says, I know your works and where you dwell, where Satan's throne is, and you hold fast to my name, and you did not deny my faith, even in the days in which Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was killed amongst you, where Satan dwells. You see, Antipas was a follower of Christ who was killed by Nero, the emperor of Rome. He was sent to be martyred in the temple of Apollo in the city of Polyacum, which is located in Switzerland. Today, that city is called St. Genis Poly. Poly gets his name from the ancient name of Polyacum. So we see this verse tells us Satan's throne is where Antipas was killed. 
So it's no coincidence that also built here is the CERN portal where they want to release Apollyon the Destroyer, Revelations 9-11. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, which name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue have his name Apollyon. Also 9-11 was the Illuminati sacrifice to have an excuse to invade ancient Babylon, which is Iraq, to look for Stargate portal technology so they could build the CERN portal over the throne of Satan. Also located here is the United Nations headquarters in Geneva. Geneva is also home to almost all of the international headquarters, such as who they located there, their headquarters is there. Whenever the world has to decide a matter, they all meet here in Geneva. So we see clearly where the seat of power is, the throne of Satan, and we see the elites built a portal machine to summon up demonic spirits. So when they come out these portals, they could walk into these buildings, these headquarters and call the shots. All of this info is being exposed before we enter the Great World War III. And World War III will be one of the shortest wars in history. The nukes will take out America in one hour. Revelations 18, 17. In one hour, such great wealth has been brought to ruin. Every sea captain and all who travel by ship, the sailors and all who earn their living from the sea will stand far off. When they see the smoke of her burning, they will exclaim, was there ever a city like this great city? They will throw dust on their heads and with reaping and mourning cry out woe woe to you great city where all who had ships on the sea became rich through her wealth in one hour she has been brought to ruin in one hour babylon america will be destroyed the nations won't be able to ship their goods to america no more the sailors they will see the smoke of the mushroom clouds from afar off Rejoice over her, you heavens. Rejoice, you people of God. Rejoice, apostles and prophets. For God has judged her with the judgment she imposed on you. When Babylon is destroyed, we should rejoice. America used nukes to judge Japan, and the Most High will use nukes to judge America. America rained down missiles on Iraq and Afghanistan for years, and Russia and China and Iran and all these other nations will do the same to America. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe will come if quickly let's go ahead in this video with the deep prayer bismillahi or rahman or rahim oh allah shower us with mercy and forgive us of our shortcomings and sins you are the most perfect and only you are worthy of worship oh almighty rabbi guide us and protect us from the evil spirits and remove negative energy from our lives grant us entrance into jannah your paradise on the day of judgment protect us from the hellfire forgive us for any transgressions protect us from the whispers and temptations of shaitan protect us from the deceiver and give us the strength to endure whatever trials and tribulations awaits us and give us understanding and comprehension and wisdom and discernment grant us good health guide our children to the path of righteousness and protect them from the influence of evildoers and disbelievers open up their hearts purify their soul their spirit cleanse their brain protect their innocence grant our family wealth and good health and make it easy on us send down mighty angels to protect us for you are surely the lord of heaven heaven's armies all praise and glory and worship and fear belongs to you the all-powerful the all-merciful the almighty Allah I want y'all to go ahead and press like and subscribe and hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out on my future videos I love y'all stay prayed up stay bowed down it's angel time the demons are out here it's good versus evil at this point and our battle is with the spiritual wickedness of darkness the spiritual forces man we got to stay prayed up, man. We got to keep fasting, keep giving to charity, keep giving your sadaka, your zakat, your tithes. Give your money to the Most High so he could continue to give money to you increasingly. You give him $1, he give you $10. Be smart. I love y'all.